October the 7th of last year, a barbaric horror fell over Israel. Not since the Holocaust had there been such a day of death and destruction for the Jewish people. Mass rape, mass murder, mass torture, mass kidnapping. That was the Palestinian liberation, and that's what it looks like. CUFI is a voice, not an echo. That means don't tell me you love me, show me. So on this 10-7 anniversary, a year after those horrific attacks, we ask you to remember. Remember those people who were murdered on that awful day. Those victims of that horrific attack by Hamas and its allies. We ask you to remember those hostages that were taken into Gaza, many still being held. We ask you to remember the families, those who lost loved ones, those who are still waiting to hear from loved ones. The nightmare started on October 7th when Iran back to Hamas launched its brutal assault. We all watched in horror as Hamas terrorists rampaged through southern Israel, cackling in joy. More than 1,000 souls were taken in this brutal attack, including our fellow Americans. And friends, the world must never forget October 7th and the truth about who is at fault. We have faith in you, God, to give us the courage and moral clarity to win this struggle. We have faith in you, Hashem, to watch over the amazing men and women of the Israel Defense Force and lead them to victory. We have faith in you to heal those families who will never get another chance to embrace their son or daughter. We have faith in you that the Jewish people will never again stand alone in this fight, but will be side by side with our Christian brothers and sisters. So it's through your churches, it's through your congregations, it's through your friends, through your family, that you can let everybody know that we all come from the same place, that Western values exist because of our common heritage, and that in the end, we will prevail. Am Israel Chai. In November, we joined our Jewish brothers and sisters in Washington, D.C. at the largest fly-in gathering in solidarity for Israel in America's history. So the world could see that Israel was not alone. Later, when Washington failed to give Israel the military aid she needed to defeat the terrorist, CUFI hosted an emergency fly-in with 250 top leaders from across the nation. We ask you to reclaim the narrative that Israel is strong and resilient. Yes, it's hurting, but it is strong, it is resilient, and Israel and its people will endure. And we ask you to rally. Rally in support of Israel and the Jewish people. Show them that they're not alone, that we will stand with Israel today, tomorrow, and forever. Because this 10-7, we are sending a strong and unequivocal message. Israel, you are not alone. Let's focus on victory and what does victory mean i'll share my perspective what real victory is it's not the amount of dead hamas terrorists that are now in rubble in gaza that isn't victory victory will be when you good people can come to israel to the kibbutzim that were destroyed on the 7th of october and you will come to communities that are thriving full of children and you will hear the beautiful sound of the laughter, the careless laughter of Jewish children playing in their backyards. That will be victory. This is a war for Israel's survival. Israel will be victorious. Victory is ensuring Israel's people can live peacefully in their ancient homeland, north, south, east, and west. And Christians United for Israel will not be silent, will not be placated, and we will never abandon the children of Israel in their day of need. We will see this through to Israel's victory, and victory will come. We will see this battle against anti-Semitism through, and we will have victory. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. God bless America, God bless Israel, and God bless each of you.